Our daughter Molly is a social worker in a high school in New York City with a lot of challenges. I think we need to enable social workers, not armed teachers. I think we elect our school board members who are our neighbors and friends, and we ought to trust them to determine whether a school district should be gun free or not. The Executive Council has awarded, I think it's $29 million uh, this last year uh, for hardening projects, which involve vestibules, cameras, things of that nature. That's important, it's not sufficient, and I think we need to address the mental health issues. I think we need to limit the number of guns, and I think the only people holding guns in a school should be trained, active police officers. Mr. Carson, what about you, school security? Okay, um, so in, in my committee, I'm on the Municipal and County Government Committee at the State House, and we don't get too many exciting bills, but we, we had one this last year, it was called HB 149, which would have um, outlawed the ability of school boards and local select boards to regulate firearms on their property. Um, and it would have penalized them severely if they enacted policies or put ordinances in place to try to regulate that. We were successful in defeating that, is what this committee, um, the committee put it away and it, 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 we, it didn't go any further. It's gonna come back this next year again. Um, I, I firmly oppose um, that legislation. I, I think that school boards uh, should have the ability to regulate and set policies for firearms on their, within their school districts and um, I think we need to put legislation that would ensure that. Um, as Senator Feltis uh, mentioned that there were twice this last um, session where as a result of the school shootings we tried to introduce legislation that would have a discussion about firearm safety and public safety in our schools and twice our Republican colleagues voted it down. They wouldn't let us go forward with it. I think that's got to change. We've got to have the discussion and we've got to have um, some common sense safety legislation at the state level. Um, the other thing we mentioned, um, resource officers. I think resource officers are, are, play an important role in the schools. Um, they play not only a safety role, but they also um, get to know the kids and they can act to um, early on before there's an incident um, and take action uh, with kids before we have a problem. The other thing um, is also that we need to have um, mental health legislation. I, I support red flag um, legislation that would allow us uh, officers to go in and um, confiscate a weapon from somebody who was either uh, identified as a danger to themselves or to the public. And I, I think that would be a good one too. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Cox.